Don't eat it. What do, do I look like an idiot? Hey, Sean. Smoothies are here. Pineapple? Of course. Thanks, boss. You having food delivered? They were already going out. Explain to me again why we couldn't sit in a restaurant and eat like civilized people. Moving is good, Gus. It helps the digestion. Right. Right. That's not good. Um, you know, there's something beautiful about the color Fruity Puffs turns to milk. I think it's the most beautiful thing in the whole world. Muscum? What the hell is a muscum? It was a very common name of the era. History Channel. ESPN, Gus. Channel 206. Mm -hmm. I'm begging you. I think we should take the rest of the day off. What say you? All you've done is eat up a box of animal cookies and crash a crime scene. The case with the doctor. I'm just afraid something terrible has happened. Here you go. Mm -hmm. My son Malone has been acting so strange lately. Strange how? And she's blazing red phantom. I think Malone was kidnapped before the blog showed up. He's probably gonna earn his deal with Paris. Today. So the kidnapper is the one roasting this new movie online. He also wrote, the guilty will pay. When we were lost out there, Gus here was little girl scared that we might be eaten by some kind of wild animal. Does that sort of thing ever really happen? Well... What the hell are you doing? Running makes me hungry, you know that. You don't know where those have been. They can have bird flu on them or something. Bird flu, wow. I'm preparing to try and enjoy this chalupa. Odd. I want you to grab my arm, both hands, like you're doing a pull-up. Feel the burn. I will now become a conduit to your son's thoughts. Please, clear your mind and your nasal passages. You know how awful those are. I'm hungry, man. Been around this day. Dude. Jerk chicken. Oh, you know that's right. Your big-ass mouth. I wanted to keep it a secret. You're the one who's broadcasting it at the lunch table. I can't believe this. We actually started an urban legend. That's dope. Coming around the mountains when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. You must be out of your damn mind. Dude, you have three full cops. I will slap you, Sean. No. No, no, no. Keep playing, Sean. Go ahead. What kind of sick bastard goes commando underneath another man's robe? Gus, don't look at me. I'm here for the cupcakes. Dad, I am not on drugs. I see him come back down the hill early in the morning. Huh. Well, thank you very much. You guys, you got anything else? Yes. Is that peach pie in the back? Yeah. It takes 19 hours to bake a pineapple upside down cake. It does when it's being heated by a 60 watt bulb. It's not upside down. I want to know how that makes sense. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but the jerk chicken from Kingston's has always been the best. <laughs> Let me see. Well, they got the right ratio of black pepper, scotch bonnet, and thyme. It's not. Chocolate tiramisu is ass cake. Oh, no, that just seems mean. I didn't kill him. I was here that night cooking. Mm. Had a mm. bunch of big groups, never even left the kitchen. Mm. Oh. Mm. We have craft service privileges, which means all the gummy bears and poppycock we can jam in our bellies. But we only have one day to eat them. Let's get to work, Sean. These pineapple peking dumplings are special for you, Chad. Thank you, Kelly, you sweet little thing. You have to try this sandwich. Kelly from craft service makes them I already for me. ate lunch, Sean. Why am I here? This isn't lunch. This is turkey with stuffing and cranberry. It's like Thanksgiving between two slices of bread. This whole place, it's like leaving Las Vegas with food. Sean, why'd you We're talking about my life here. I know, Sean. This woman is crazy. <laughs> She's gonna kill you. Look, forget it, okay? Just forget it. I'll check the...
poisoned with snake venom. Thank you. I will need to see what you see. Wear what you wear. Drink what you drink. You're saying you'd like some hot chocolate? Yes, with marshmallows, please. Dutch. Let me know when I can mock. Because I'm ready to mock. Where's your grad pick? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to wear mine. Sean, come on, don't do this to me. You know that was my thing. Ow! Ow! Don't play, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge Santa Barbara welcome to our opening act. Put your hands together. It tastes like it was dipped straight out of Willy Wonka's river. Would you get serious? Well, he's not the most gracious host, you know. If he just offered, I wouldn't have had to ask, and that panico. Not nearly as filling as it may have seemed. Let me go first. I'm more stealthy. I'm as graceful as a gazelle, Sean. You are not. A jackal. Dude, a jackal is not graceful. It's like a rabbit. Vicious bash. So you just gave them the map and told them everything? No, not everything. OK, everything. So they found the treasure? <laughs> not exactly. Why fools fall in love. Oh, here you go, Mr. Gustard. This is all they had in Lost and Found. We know he's been asking around town about us, trying to figure out our whereabouts. We thought he finally found us. Well, don't you worry about that. You help us with this investigation, we will make sure the police protect you from your old pal, Eugene. Oh, I had a dream that I knifed him in his sleep, but I woke up. Hicks should have never gone into no man's land. No man's land? The area that's strictly off limits during crane operation. Hicks should have known better. I mean, he was a safety inspector. Barb, and even if I weren't, I mean, Carlton? <laughs> oh, uh... Ow! You have a problem. Are those crab cakes? Yes, they are. With dill and coriander. Which girl are we talking about? They call her Toxic Waste, but her name is Shelly. Said she was talking to some of the other girls and that they were very impressed by me and that I am perfect for something. Stop pulling rank on me. OK. Ordering me around. Fine. And smoothies are on you until we nab someone. <sighs> you know those crab cakes are like three days old or something? Call rejecting a small business loan for a zip line snack transportation system, calling it, and I quote, fiscally irresponsible. Sean? Yes, I do. <laughs> they plump when you cook them. They plump. <laughs> Literally. As the temperature rises, the wiener absorbs all additional moisture, causing it to double, sometimes hey. even triple in diameter. Oh, wow. I'm still a little fuzzy on the details. Do you remember what happened this morning when Mr. Stubbins came to the bank? I remember him entering the bank and he approached me. I kind of sort of ruined Christmas at that house. <laughs> What'd you do this time? So I pulled all of Carl and Ted's court records from across the state, like you said. Your psychic sense about them was right. Look at this. Let's say, for example, that you'd like a bag of Funyuns. You're gonna have to go to the one on Las Palmas. Princeton doesn't stop them. Don't ask me why. Who doesn't, who doesn't love Funyuns? It was the one on Las Palmas. But I had more important things on my mind than chips. Well, naturally, you were apprehending a very dangerous <laughs> uh, criminal from the Cinco's, yeah. right? Reyes. But just so you know, Funyuns aren't actually a chip. Sean, enough with the Funyuns. Jules, they are an onion-flavored corn snack. Pie cheese! Dude, you know that cheese has gone bad. Contra, my nair. It's gone good. Very good. Don't you know that cheese is best when it's aged? I read somewhere that a Japanese businessman spent a fortune on a 200-year-old wheel of Jarlsberg. I think you're confusing that with Monet's water lilies. Told you I don't want a popsicle. Oh. Well, guess we'll have to share this. How do you share a popsicle? I take a lick, you take a lick. I take a lick, you take a lick. I take a lick. It's yours. Partner. That's cold, Juliet. No, he is not my partner. He just thinks that he is my partner. He paid for coffee, brought me cupcakes. But trust me, my mind... You guys are thinking about cupcakes, aren't you? Yes. Oh. Yes. Not on our desk. There's a little something extra for you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, Sean. Charleston shoe? Charleston shoe. You also have an overloaded socket and a hot plate on the ground. I like soup. I won't apologize for that. It's next to a stack of old newspapers. I also like to read while I eat. 
Can you please just tell me why you think it's Dan? The fries exist, Sean. He was telling the truth in a big way. They're like a pyramid of savory goodness. Let's just sit here and look at them for a while. Dude, the clock is ticking on some guy's life and you're out getting a milkshake? Gosh, don't be this crevice in my arm. This isn't a milkshake, it's a smoothie. There's a huge difference. Okay, I get it. We have to make nice with the chief. Why do you think I brought along this piece of thing? You really think that one container of fries, cuatro quesos, dos fritos is gonna fix everything? Yes, I do. Here. Ooh. It's a fries, cuarto quesos, dos fritos, and apparently doesn't travel well. Can I get you guys anything else before I close this checkout? As a matter of fact, you can. My partner, Trapezius Milkington, would like to see something in a Belgian waffle. Sean, it's 12.30. I do not want waffles or eggs or malto meal. All right. What would you recommend? Oh, my gosh. If you're going to do this, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. Gus. Hello, Abigail. The, the thing is, it's it's his car. It's, it's a company car, and he's, he's very protective of it, so just pretend like he isn't here. You know what this means, Gus? That we suck a ski? No. It means that this hot chocolate just became a write-off. <sighs> Beth, he looked right into my eyes, and I'm certain he knew exactly what he was saying. I was there, Sean. You didn't cradle anything. Oh, there you are. Now have a revelation regarding the cause of Warren's crash. Oh, my revelation? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, no, it's too early for that. We haven't even had our foie gras yet. <laughs> <laughs> and if you voted for me, well, I'm afraid you don't belong in my club either. That doesn't even make sense. Even just thoo, but it is a word. No, it's not simply nowhere to be sure. My point is this, no matter how glamorous their lives look from the outside, these are not our kind of people. Will you stop it? Where's my food? Excuse me, uh, I still haven't gotten my pizza chili cheese fries. Also known as the Sean Spencer, not that you'd recognize them as such, seeing as how this establishment refuses to call them that, even though I order them six times a week. Better. Absolutely. Uh, we're just missing one thing. Yeah, pizza. I was going to say an immersion therapy tank and hallucinogens, but I could go for a slice. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'll call Luigi's. They deliver. Well, I guess we're having Doritos for dinner. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Do you not agree? Oh, I don't know. Don't you think there was something weird about the way that whole thing went down? There were lots of things that were weird. Like your irrational fear of tassels. Irrational? Yes. No, I do not. I think you're jealous of Lassie. I'm happy to admit that Lassie succeeded. One-quarter Jamaican. <laughs> I'm also one-quarter Jamaican. You are not. Mm. Stop telling people that. Mm. So how do you know? You feel better? A little. You know, I never wanted to punch Lassie in the face before today. Really? You know, the worst part is that he's right, Sean. Tony and June are not detectives. They had no business being there. We just heard ice cream on our police radio, and it happened to be Gus's snack time. Well, look, fellas, tell me. That was Jules. They found the rifle in Jessica's apartment. They are booking her now. Man, she was crazy. Glad we found out now before you guys hooked up. I don't know what smells worse, that breakfast burrito or those nacho cheese corn nuts used to eat. Well, let's do a smell test. Here, close your eyes. Dude, I demand to know what's going on with you. You got a license for that? This is where it gets harder. Leave me alone. Sir, I need to commandeer your boat. It's vegetarian. Where have you been? You missed the first third of the movie. Uh, let me guess. Dude has a creepy voice in the mommy complex. We're in it. If I'm not mistaken, and I am paraphrasing here, I am introduced on page 11 as a thick tufted boy genius who ice skates through life on polished blades of snarky eloquence. Look at that. It's showtime. I can't believe you got that out of me. It's my boy right there, son. Let me ask you something. Who, who came up with these panic code words for Jules? This could be my last meal, Sean. 